this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. Um, it is going to have some trig functions in it and you will have to do or know one trig substitution to make this easier. So 1 over cosine x squared is equal to that cosecant squared x. We'll make that substitution later in the problem. Um, but it is going to turn out to be a pretty straightforward integral. All right, I've got an e raised to the tangent x right there, so I'm going to start by letting that um, tangent x be what I let my u be. So we're going to say let u equal the tangent of x. All right, now I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. I'll have a du is equal to, if you remember your derivatives there, we'll have a secant squared x dx. Now, just to uh, make substitutions easier here, I'm going to go ahead and divide um, by that secant squared x, so I'm solving for dx. So I'll have a du over a secant squared x is equal to my dx. All right, now from there, I'm going to then come up here and just start making my substitutions and see where it leads. I'm going to have the integral there. I will have an e. I will replace the tangent x with my u, so e to the u, all over the cosine squared x. All right, I will replace dx with what it equals. All right, du over secant squared x. All right, now at this point, if you are not recognizing or not seeing that you're going to have to do this trig substitution, um, then that, that's what creates the problem for some people. All right, looking at it like this, it might make it a little more difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate that so that people can see why I can make the substitution. So if we've got the integral here, we'll have an e to the u times a 1 over cosine squared x times du over the secant squared x. So all I did was pull that e to the u out, showing I'm multiplying these two things, which would be equivalent to that. That lets this stand out really easy there, so I can make that substitution. So then I'll have the integral of an e to the u, Making that substitution, I'll have a secant squared x. I'll still have my du over secant squared x. All right, now, hopefully you can clearly see this one is in the denominator, this one is in the numerator. They do cross out. That's going to then leave us with the integral of e to the u du. All right, so that's what we needed to do. We needed to get down to a place where we could actually integrate this. If you are working integrals like this with a u substitution, you should have memorized the integral of e to the u is going to be e to the u. So I'll have e to the u, and I can go ahead and add that plus c because I've integrated. Last step would be to substitute that u back in. So I'll have e raised to the tangent x and then plus c. All right, so it is just a basic U substitution, but getting everything to cross out, you've got to know your trig um, identities well enough to know where and how you can substitute to make things fall out. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, uh, please share with your friends so they can benefit as well. Thanks.